Caleb here. And I had a really great conversation uh, this morning with a friend, not just about anger, but just feelings of resentment towards a person in general. And to anybody who's manifesting an SP, this is a great video that will help give you insight. So let me uh, talk about this real quick. So tell you the story, I mean. So last night, my friend, um, she found out this guy that she is talking to. She knows that he's not the one. Um, she's, he, she's not, he is not her SP, the person she wants to spend her life with. But she's a, he's a fun guy and she likes to hang out with him. So last night, she had a great opportunity from the mirror of life to learn something about herself, and she did. So what she found out was that this guy, this guy friend, basically lied to her and went somewhere when he said that he was just staying home and stuff like that. And it triggered a lot of anger within her. And she was very, very, very angry at him. Even though they're not dating or anything like that, and she doesn't see a future with this guy, you, you know, again, they're still friends and she likes hanging out with him. So this morning, she was able to get a lot of clarity. After she had a good cry last night, she was so angry and she cried for like two hours and, you know, validated her emotions, right? She just let her emotions be there, got out of her system, did some journaling and felt great the next morning. You know, a lot of clarity came to her mind this morning. And what she realized was that her anger was actually not towards him. It was towards herself. So a lot of people in this SP community, and I've seen this with many clients and even experienced this in my own life, have some sort of anger or resentment or some sort of low feeling towards their SP, right? This person abandoned me. How dare they not reciprocate this love? How dare they not be here? Some sort of feelings like that, right? But what this mirror showed her, this opportunity with the mirror of life is she realized once she became level-headed and stabilized after just processing her feelings that I actually wasn't mad at him abandoning me. Yes, my logical mind told me I'm angry at him and that he abandoned me. And in the heat of the moment, that felt like the true story. But when she was able to clearly look at it, she realized that most of this anger towards her SP was actually towards herself if that makes sense. Now, let me clarify something really, really quick. When I talk about this anger, for example, right, this does not mean you have to gaslight yourself and become a doormat for someone, right? You never have to accept bad behavior. Always set your boundaries, um, just an FYI. So this it doesn't mean that every time you're angry, you need to gaslight yourself and just say, oh, it's my fault. This has nothing to do with that. I want to make that very, very clear. But what she learned specifically in this situation for her, very specific to her, was that, yeah, I'm really not angry towards him. You know, we're not dating. I don't even see a future with him. He's a grown man. I'm a grown woman. And he doesn't owe me anything. He wasn't born into this world owing me anything. He's an adult who can do his own things and make his own decisions. And she felt so empowered once she realized, yeah, I'm actually not mad at him. I'm mad at myself. But my logical mind wants to project that anger uh, towards him. It wants to say he's the reason I'm angry, but it's actually, and, I, and, I, and I'm angry at something outside of me, but it's actually anger towards self because she realized my logical mind told me he abandoned me. He didn't prioritize me. But when she was able to become level headed and more stabilized, she realized, no, this is anger towards self because I've actually been abandoning myself. I haven't been prioritizing my own needs and wants in my own life. So it was a great mirror and a learning lesson for her so she could start prioritizing herself above all else in her life, right? In her reality. So take this as a good lesson from her. If any of you are angry towards an SP or a specific person, don't get me wrong. You can totally be mad because of behavior that you received and let that, you know, let that anger be okay, right? 
don't become a doormat for people and bad behavior. But if you're someone who feels like you have this intense anger for someone and they really didn't do anything like this physical harm to you or anything like think of it this way, you have this intense anger or frustration because it's not here yet. Think of it from that perspective. Well, what you really need to examine is how is this reflected in me? So maybe you're really angry because it's not here yet. Okay. How am I actually not showing up for myself? How am I actually abandoning self? and let those answers come to you and then start resolving that. So if anyone is interested in one-on-one coaching or some courses, I'll leave those, uh, leave those in the description down below.